Wow. I mean, good evening, uh, and welcome to another podcast by uh, Juta, Will and the Truth. Um, the reason I do am doing so many in one night as well, I could not be alive tomorrow. Uh, not that, 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 I mean, that's kind of a morbid thought, but that's something my dad always used to say, and it's not like I believe it, but honestly, seriously, I am a cyclist, and I do kind of have a death wish when I'm on the open road, swerving in between cars, and the city of Glasgow has a lot of potholes where a bitch I might, <clears throat> pardon me, where a witch, I might get hit, uh, which would suck, because I discovered an epic lady a couple weeks ago, and I really wouldn't want to ruin her heart by dying anytime soon. Anyway. That's not for me to say that that will actually happen because, well, I am a crazy poet and I can see myself slipping right quickly back into, well, the past 30 years of friendless darkness, which is not so cool, but whatever. I live to write and write to die empty. As soon as my last words have been spoken, I will be dead. Anyway, this one's uh, kind of long, so we should get to it. Let's get to it. This one's called Force Object. Or object force, <laughs> whichever way you want to read it on the blog, which is villain of truth dot uk and add villain of truth on Twitter. That's right, eight thousand poetic tweets you guys enjoy. Anyway, here we go. Object force too much dark. Ever present clockwork image display of the past on repeat of where I am where I've been rummaging about in my head. Force a quell in the shadow within. Don't want to feel this overwhelming hate for the skin that I am disguised in. Too old to begin the acceptance process, even in the mirror's denial. Reprogram the internal self-loathing disposition algorithm. Tonight I'm conscious of oh the creative dark. Fight the black. Fight back the black cat cloud <clears throat> of once flash of light hope. Impenetrable plague, a mental disorder shadow of the self-acceptance disorder. Breathe, breathe to flex the soul. Muscle imbued feminine embrace mass. Ah, oh, that's my chest. Sorry. <clears throat> it's a little bit big for a guy. What am I? It's not even all muscle. Sorry. Whatever. I'm going to go back to the poem now. Uh, side of a leaf stirring in the wind of blowing signs of fate's breeze. I am awake and I strive, an aptitude test for hope in the subliminal keeping so many alive tonight against suicide. Yet, inside, I can barely fathom a breath of another's heart on my behalf. No way, despite hell, could I ever inspire love. Maybe I just spent too many hours on my 30-year journey on a lonely walk one way down a road to giving. Thus, it's indescribable a re reciprocation conduction in a connection to me. It doesn't matter, though. Tonight I fight the lonely dark with, with words, so tomorrow I might rise and write. Write to die, empty. If all the inspiration through, uh, uh, I might find myself surprised at finding acceptance and possibly the ever evading thing spelt L-O-V-E. This is Jutan, in earnest anticipation of. Sorry I boggled that one up, but as always, you get a one-off. Enjoy! Object Force, Villain of Truth, Jutan, you guys have a great night, hope to see you live someday, yeah, maybe, <clears throat> that'll happen.